got a number of courtyards around within the hospital that actually were crying out for some redevelopment. In this sort of scheme, you're reliant on people's goodwill and the, their follow through from their good intention. And I think that's always difficult to maintain. Keeping all the plates spinning in terms of communication with all the different kinds of people that are involved in the project, trying to get them all together for meetings and to make actual decisions was probably frustrating but rewarding when it paid off. Uh, logistically, it was very difficult to start with. Edwina volunteered me, put it that way. Edwina's the ward manager and she wanted somebody who was interested in gardening. I got involved in the creating the footpath in the camera courtyard and involved with the patients in the creation of the, um, the mosaic part of it. It was nice to have something that you could involve the patients doing with the mosaics. And when we did the mosaics on the ward, we were lucky we had the client group that could actually participate and use it as part of a therapeutic treatment session, which worked well. We certainly worked hard at it. We had some people just came once or twice to have a go, and other people did you know, quite a lot of work and completed a lot of the, the mosaic patterns themselves. It's going to be nice to be able to take patients out there and to have the opportunity to do that. It does give you another space away from the ward, away from everything going on. It's a quiet space. I think they look really great. I think they're going to be good to, to use. It's nice for both staff and patients to be able to go outside and sit somewhere quietly. And I just think they're, they're really nicely done. They're nice to look at out the window and a hundred times better than they were. I didn't always think that the hospital staff were on our side, though when you actually spoke to them individually they were, but we had some resistance to the whole idea. The courtyard was in a little bit of a state, I see, not welcoming, and um, knowing the nature of the clinics we have here, particularly for children who come into clinic very anxious, we thought they'll need a place where they can relax and play until they called in for their appointment. So the whole idea was the children be familiar with these signs, so when they go in to have the actual test, they're not too frightened. A lot of the features in the courtyard is actually based on a little testing that equipment we use for children. The children's area with the chairs and the way when the sun reflects on the um, uh, coloured uh, shields that they've got up there, um, it brings out the shadows on the ground and a few times when we've had good weather, unfortunately it's been raining for some time now, we've had good weather, the children have actually been out there finding these shapes and uh, pointing out to their parents. It is very exciting to see them and it is, yes, I must say Olive um, and the team have worked really well and we believe we have got exactly what we've been looking for. We're very impressed with it. I must say parents are also impressed with it as well. Getting buy-in at the very beginning is always difficult, but you do need that buy-in. And also there's an ongoing uh, maintenance issue. But it was actually the snail. I do like the shapes, the old circles and spirals, one part of my work anyway, so that would, I would say was the central inspiration point for me. The fact that it's there and it wasn't going to go anywhere because it's a solid bump of concrete. So I felt that I had to incorporate it into the design in some way. Um, initially there were people from Barclays Bank and some people from the hospital, but there were problems with that steering group. It, we lost them along the way, so then it was uh, mined. So we made bricks, really, for the centre of the courtyard. Uh, they enjoyed doing it. While I worked with Long Meadow School, I went into the school and we cast plaster into clay and then we covered them with graphite powder, which they enjoyed quite, quite a lot. They really enjoyed the workshops, actually. They were very good. Nice bunch of kids to work with, and then the work that they came out with was very good for their age group. And I did a similar thing with staff from the hospital. I would have liked it if there was many more staff members involved. The people that came really enjoyed doing it, and they looked very good as well. And they're in there, I think. I think the most positive thing about this project has been that We've shown you can actually do it. Many other hospitals have courtyards that are, out, that are outside, they're easy to access, but we've overcome many hurdles. We've had to transport everything through corridors, we've had to work within the hospital environment. Nothing's stopped, everything's always happened. Patients have been going up and down corridors at the same time as plants and topsoil and gravel. So we've overcome all those difficulties and the project has worked and I think that has been a tremendous testament to the people that have been involved in it. 
I think the whole concept is an excellent idea, and I think everybody's extremely enthusiastic. But the fact that we've had camels in a courtyard here at Milton Keynes since the year dot, and now you can actually go out into that area and you can sit in that area should you wish, then I think that's actually quite a nice courtyard. Altogether, I think, given the budget and the time and the several problems we had, it's time to come out well, and I really enjoyed doing it, actually. And it was nice to work with everybody, particularly the project team, who were very helpful and supportive. I think it's lovely. <laughs> and the children do use it. Yeah.